helpful. It worked the first time. Thank you. Uh, this is Marilyn, and it's the 2.30 afternoon wrap on uh, Tuesday, the 29th. So welcome to my world. Uh, there's not a lot to uh, go over since we uh, since noon when I talked when I talked last. I have to find my mouse here, and I don't see anything that was earth shattering. But it was interesting to see right going into the close. I don't know if you saw a lot of volume come into crude oil to the downside. So it's well worth paying attention to your time in sales. And um, I think today, for several different reasons, the six tick gave us a little better, uh, a little better indication. The um, there was a nice trade here right at two o'clock off of the. Um, uh, this would be the high of yesterday or last session, which was yesterday down and some of this happened pretty darn rapidly when it started selling off a bunch of contracts. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning we have the um, we have the usual crude oil inventory report at 1030. So be sure and get that on your radar so you don't take a trade in crude oil just before that or right at that time because if you're on the wrong side of that you're going to get uh, probably run over and flattened by the bus in a heck of a hurry. Tomorrow there is also some uh, CAD news and there is um, the U.S. non-farm employment change. I always love the way they put that. It's the change. Why don't they just try telling us the truth the first time and then they won't have to change the numbers. But anyway, that's just me, I'm sure. So uh, it looks like uh, the euro started down also around noon and the dollar started back up again. Those had sold off, well, the dollar had sold off and the euro had gone up a little bit. Bonds is backing off a little bit, but we'll have to see. The, the markets appear to be relatively, um, they, they just kind of seem to be jittery and not knowing uh, what to think. With the economic news coming out of um, China and, you know, the talking heads kind of gin up a lot of that too, I think. But that's their job. They get paid to. So other than that, I don't see anything. Brent got to a magnet. This is the magnet at uh, 4812. And it has hovered between that magnet and the high that it put in at 4864 today. Let's see, that's one, two, three, for four hours. So very tight trading range. And that's an indication that if you are a crude oil trader, you might want to be doing something else instead of trying to uh, trying to get in the bus driver's way. This this bus driver today, I thought was kind of a bit of a jerk. So hopefully we'll get a better driver tomorrow, and uh, he'll give us some nice bus rides, especially with the inventory. So this has been my view from, oh, I wanted to, to tell you one other thing, too. We, we have a lot of new people that are coming in, and they're trying to learn how to do, uh, they're, they're, they're learning Apex, but they also are not quite sure which room they're supposed to be in and what uh, educational materials to do first and all of that. So. Um, I wanted to kind of let you all know that since I've been doing these commentaries, I am trying my level best to to set aside some time at noon right after I talk and at 2.30 right after I do this 
to answer questions. So if people do have questions, um, right in the middle of trading time is real difficult to trade and type and click buttons and make judgments and a lot of other things. It gets electric. So I hope you understand that. Nobody's ignoring you. And if you don't get your questions answered, just ask again because they probably got uh, scrolled on past uh, where where the chat room is. So don't hesitate to ask again. That's never a problem. Anyway, this has been my view from my world in Apex land. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.